Guys, it's time for the finale of the launchers mode. So I've had a lot of fun on this one, even though I don't really like launchers that much. Uh, we did kill the Hag of Fervor the other day, and anybody that's ever taken on the Hag of Fervor on Mayhem 10 or Mayhem 11 knows that that is no joke. And we got that shit done. So that's probably the hardest thing that we're going to do on this entire playthrough. And we got that done already. Here is the skill tree. We got pumpkin spice. We got mountain dew. We got grape Kool-Aid and we got blueberry punch. We did change this up a bit from the other day because we needed the corrosive sabot rounds or sabo rounds or sabo. English motherfucker, do you speak it? I don't know how to say that shit, dude. I, I'm not in the military. I don't know, man. We do have a guardian rank on... In terms of the gear, we got Corrosive Back Burner, Fire Back Burner. We did get a Major Kong from the Diamond Loot Room. Got a bunch of Plague Bearers because that was the item in Maurice's vendor this week. Got ourselves an Infernal Wish, Piss Grenade, Launch Pad, Mind Sweeper. We also got the Max Level Plumage, Satisfaction, Mongol. We did get our Yellow Cake the other day, the Rhino the other day, and a bunch of other stuff that we can't use. So cool. Let's go stash some stuff in Sanctuary and then start on our other end game content. We still need to get a few items still yet. The Kick Charger being chief among them i figure what we do to start today off is go try and get a kick charger on the, on on like the first run any any dope of that actually happening no no okay all right so today's goal is we got to beat a lot of stuff we got both of the takedowns to do we got the true trials maps to finish up we've gotten the the two hardest ones in my opinion done we got the slaughter star no slaughter shaft emivorous and vermivorous we got malawan takedown guardian takedown raid version of joey ultraviolet raid version of captain haunt so lots to do let's get started we're gonna start things off though by chasing after and probably totally getting on the first run a kick charger i'm gonna need the luck there's a chest here and some not fun looking enemies to deal with all right well we got a quickie yay that's what she said <laughs> get out of here dummy not not a great launcher honestly oh cool decipher redeem throw your next legendary off of a cliff thanks decipher cypher just wasted his points because there's zero chance we get a kick charger okay any of them health files Y'all got any of them health files anywhere? <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, next legendary off of a cliff was a butcher and a res. Son of a bitch. Decipher, you can have both. Enjoy your junk. The butcher's not junk, but you know what I'm saying. Bye, loot. <laughs> I got a rock. I wish I got a rock. That would have at least been useful compared to what I actually did get. All right, this is the run though. I have a good feeling. I don't, I don't have a good feeling at all. I mean, look at that circle, dude. That circle's already got me worried. Surprise, Ooh! mother... Jesus, dude. Well, it's his house. You know, as far as I'm concerned, he can keep this house. I really don't want to live here. Are you for real? <laughs> yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! And we have an extractor right beside of us. Oh, my God. I'll take it. Extract. Boom. Yes. That was insanely lucky right there, dude. I'll never be that lucky again in my life, man. Kick charger done. Uh, so yeah, that just leaves the only launcher that we have not gotten is the globe trotter. Let's go do that shit. Let's get that shit out of the way. Gentlemen, ladies, boys and girls, it is day number eight, which is now definitely, definitively, 100%, positively, absolutely going to be the finale. And I need a finale name. What you got for me? Skin. We're going to go splatter for the finale, guys. I'm going with Mozuka. I like that. Mozuka. Because we're blowing shit up today. Let's go. All right. Let's see how this goes. Bam. I got disappeared. I see dead people. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Kick chargers broke as hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one tap and everything, man. <laughs> action, I'm not even using my action skill. Let's make our damage higher. <laughs> Damn. Get him, Cub. Less immune phases with this mod, too. Epic NG's mod packs. Yellow kicked. Yellow kicked. Give me a light speed, dude. I'll take a light speed. Or Monarch. That's cool damned super ball They're like here have some really really good loot you're welcome don't get close to me though dude thank you <laughs> look at that shit got him most of the way down before he even teleported there let's awaken the hive on these fools that one's for you <gasps> you go ah, scourge Woo! all right first run globetrotter 
course not. Oh man, of course not. Son of a bitch. You know what's bad is we got one off the wall the other day in the diamond loot room and I must have thrown it away. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. That's so much fun that I definitely want to do it again to get the one weapon that I'm going to use for five minutes. So here's my actual plan. Launcher's only flak. I'm sure he had one. Globe trotter, ion cannon, mechanic. Damn, that's a double capacity mad cap. See that shit? That's crazy. I'll throw a cloning manning tracker on the final build for you guys. Cause I'm a good guy. Okay, let's get a pearl of ineffable knowledge on here too. All right, that's good. So I kind of want to farm for a better minesweeper. So back to a Promethea. Damn, that damn, I keep forgetting how crazy the globe trotter can be, especially when you're like doing splash damage stuff, man. That thing is nutty. Damn, Archer, what happened over there? Well, not quite. Man, the globe trotter is a little bit nutty, dude. Oh, whoa, 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 that's the wrong class mod, dum dum. I think we're good. Let's go do. Let's go do slaughter shaft. Everybody cool with the slaughter shaft? The Ryan is crazy, dude. It will use up all of your rocket ammo though. So keep that in mind. But Jesus, you know, ground control to major Kong. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. So now the song goes. Moser with rocket launchers is stupid. Especially with the infernal wish, man. Can you imagine if you had like the infernal wish plus like, like the double shot skill. It's crazy. All right. You want some overkill? Hey, there's a view. There's a freaking badass. There, there went the entire universe. The entire universe died. We burn out all the stars with that one. Lumage is a great single target weapon too, man. Focus in on the dude or do that in that case. Just melt him. A whizzy mechanic. Shoot some tires at fools. It makes such a weird sound too, man. It's so bad. Oh, oh, oh Lord, run. Shit. <laughs> yeah, whizzy mechanic, not great. What else we got? Let's try the ion cannon. Oh, that grenade just is still in circles around him. Where? I can't see shit, dude. And dodging my shit. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Not cool. Now, the Mongols' biggest weakness is simple strafing to the side. Boy, this guy knows some maneuvers. If an enemy can move like slowly to one side or the other, the Mongol can't get them. But if they stand perfectly still, you know, they don't have a chance. All right, we technically got a kill with the satisfaction. That's good enough for me. All right, the rocket pod. So like the Freeman, you can use this to kill people that want to hide behind cover. Like this dumbass. <laughs> or this dumbass. <laughs> rocket pod's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. You know what I mean? Freeman, bitch. Okay, bad idea. Yellow kick. Cool thing about the yellow kick is if you can get the right distance, this thing can do some crazy stuff. Like see how it like splits, then it splits. See that? So that's really what you want to do is you want to shoot this thing from range and let it get all split apart. And then it's going to just wipe out just hordes of enemies. If you can get the range. Problem is sometimes enemies will close that range and then you don't get as many projectiles on target. Still does crazy damage, but if you can get a bunch of the projectiles on target, then it's even better, obviously. How about from no range? <laughs> Horrible idea. Where's our nuke em at? Nuke em. <laughs> Definitely want to keep some range when I use the nuke em. Damn. They're going to hit him. Oh, bullseye. Didn't kill him, but you know, it did look like I know what I was doing. Hot drop on Moe's can actually kill stuff. That's crazy. Hey, including Moe's. Getting the sticky stuck to something, especially these small dudes. Quite the challenge. He's over there beating up all his teammates. What a genius. Real titans of genius. He dropped me a Zitzev's eruption and a bunch of iridium. Done. All right, guys. So we got the slaughter shaft done. I kind of just want to go kill Hemavorus and Vermivorous. Let's go. See how badly we can kill these fools. Here we go. Oh my God. Did not see that coming. Ooh, I just nuked myself. Too close, too close, too close. Oh my God, that damage is insane, dude. <laughs> oh man, that's nuts. Bye, Vermi. God dang, dude. That's crazy. Got us a flat off company, man. All right, reload speed and damage. All right, why not? And a dead ringer and an epicenter and a chaos and 
Uh, none forgiven. Well, that was nice and quick. So now back to sanctuary. We still got our uh, other true proven grounds to knock out. Yeah, the dude, uh, the dude got. Oh shit! Got him. Yep, he's having a bad day. He's having a bad day. I forget how much health this guy has, but it's billions, by the way. And that's it. He did. And since this is the raid version, you do get some pretty good loot. Usually you can get a skull masher and a sickle. In our case, we've got a Dobby sickle and a molten sickle. <laughs> sometimes you can drop uh, one of each. Sometimes he'll drop two of one. You just never know which one you're going to get. And then you're guaranteed to get legendaries from the chest here at the end, as long as you beat the, the raid version. Zerk white elephant, last stand rocket boots and a head. Great. Next, let's take a, let's take a detour. Before we do the other proving grounds, let's take a detour and go kill Joey Ultraviolet. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo already? What the hell happened? Cover, you have any luck with the nukes there? Ah! Apparently. Well, Tenderizer's dead. All right, we're not gonna be able to see anything, chat, but we are gonna get him murdered here, so. I ran right into that beam and then murdered him. Damn, dude. Oh, come on. <laughs> on the final final episode of this playthrough, we would have to get a Lanoge, wouldn't we? <laughs> oh, and a Malik's Bane too, just for good measure. Why not? Great. Thanks, game. Yep, yeah, that was pretty quick. Yeah. That was pretty quick. I forget how many billions of health he has too, by the way, but it's a lot. I am not really a math guy, you know. All right, let's turn on Bloody Harvest so we can go kill Haunt. I'm inside your mouth, Maurice. You need to go see a dentist and a proctologist. Lump it's lump it's lump it's a purple launcher and i'm still nuking fools with it damn that was a big one wait does he slightly resist fire since you know he's in hell and all you are dead meat dude Sheesh. all right vindicator gas call nope just a regular give me this malawan take down i'm gonna go wreck this fool that was a bit overkill just a smidge overkill there Oh, oh, don't be dodging my rocket. Who the hell you think you are? Mr. Rocket Dodge Pants? I don't think so. I've totally paid attention to that guy before. Wow. Thanks for the loot, guys. I hit him first with the globe trotter. <laughs> From one raid boss to the other. Oh, ho, 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 dang. Oh, dang, son. All right. Now I'm with the Mongol. You up there. Damn it. You up there. Beautiful shot right there. Run into that. Oh, so close. Shit. All right. I think it's time to stop playing around. Say goodbye. Goodbye to your face. Oh, you're dead, dude. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Woo. Hell yeah, man. For that, we got a cryostone loaded dice, a firestorm. Yay. Spiritual driver. Nice. Damn. Atlas Amara spiritual driver right there. <laughs> Atlas weapon damage. Atlas critical damage. Atlas weapon fire rate. OPQ maybe. Jeez, dude. Another conference call. Zitsev's eruption again and a Tig's boom. Well, there you have it, guys. We killed it. We killed Hemophorus. Remember us, we killed Malawan Takedown, Guardian Takedown. We did it all, man. We did it all. I mean, there was still some proven grounds that we could have done, but we killed the Hag of Fervor and the Tyrant. So uh, I feel like we didn't really need to prove anything else there. We did the Slaughter Shaft. We did uh, Joey Ultraviolet on um, Raid Boss Mode. We did Haunt on Raid Boss Mode. Fun playthrough. I always end up enjoying launcher playthroughs because you do some insane damage with the launchers in this game. I know a lot of people are always like what's the best launcher in the history of borderlands and everybody says norfleet but i gotta be honest guys the back burner pretty broken <laughs> it's pretty broken man you get it in the vicinity of what you want to kill and it's going to destroy some stuff hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough as much as i did if you did make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe hit the bell icon for more and today's question of the day is what do you think is the single best piece of gear that is dropped by any raid boss across any of the borderlands games so for example terramorphus drops you know hide of terramorphus or wotan can drop like the tig's boom the kib's worth what raid boss do you think has the single best piece of gear uh, I, I expect to see a lot of nor fleets in the comments below appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys in the next one y'all take care